Hi Year 6 and welcome to Wednesday's Maths lesson. Today we are going to be applying our knowledge of area, perimeter and volume and so essentially it is a recap lesson. So I'm going to go through all of the formula, the ways of working out your area, your perimeter and your volume, all of the things that we've looked at. Um, I'm going to recap each one and then you're going to go and have a go at today's activities. So let's start right back at what we did very, very first. Can you remember how to calculate the area and perimeter of a rectangle? And can you have a go at this one? So um, if you know what you're doing, pause, go and work it out and come back. If you're not sure, I will reveal the formula in a moment and then you can go and have a go. OK, so for a rectangle, the area is the length times the width. And the perimeter is the length all the way around the outside. So it's total length of all sides. OK, so if you needed that little hint, now pause and go off and work it out. OK, so hopefully we've got there. The formulas are popped up here. Hopefully you remembered them. Um, let's go through what the answer would be. So to find out the area, which remember is the whole space inside the shape. We're going to do length times width. OK, so we're going to do four times 12. So the area in this case would be. Oh, don't know why I'm writing a three, because that's not the answer. Four times 12, 48. OK, now we haven't actually got any units on this rectangle. But if we imagined that these were centimetres. Then that would impact what our answer would be and it would be centimetres squared for area. Then for the perimeter, now we have to remember to add all the sides. A common mistake here would to just be add four and 12, but that's not the total length of all the sides. So we've got four and 12 and four and 12, because it's a rectangle. And we know that rectangles have two pairs of equal sides. So you need to add them up however you find easiest. You might find it easier to double 12 and double 4 and add them together. Or you might do 12 add 4 is 16 and then another 12 add 4 is 16. Either way, hopefully you will have got to 32 centimetres for that. Fairly straightforward. Hopefully you're all OK with that. Let's have a little look and a check on squares. So exactly the same um, formula, actually. But obviously, all the sides of the square are the same. So pause here and find out the area, the space inside, and the perimeter, the length all the way around the edge. OK, hopefully not too tricky then. So area is going to be, again, it's your length times your width. Now, remember, if this is five, they're all five. So for area, you take one length measurement and one width measurement. So it's five times five or five squared which would be 25. Again, centimetres squared, metres squared, whatever your units were. We haven't got any units here. And then perimeter, 5 add 5 add 5 add 5, or 5 times 4, which is 20. So well done if you got that right. Let's move on then. So let's see if you can remember how to find the area and perimeter of this kind of shape. Now, this shape is a compound shape because it is made from two other shapes, and in this case, two rectangles. So if you think you can do it without any help, off you go. If you need a little bit of help, I'll provide a couple of hints. OK, so hint one is split your rectangle, split your compound shape into two rectangles. OK, so now you've got A and b so for area you need to find the area of a and add it to the area of b for perimeter you still need to just don't add the don't add these up just add the length of every side of your compound shape and for that you need to know what this side is and what this side is so we can work it out 10 here, 6 here, so this must add to 10, so that's a 4. And with this one, this is 9 and this one's 2, so this one must be 7. So hopefully that's enough. Go and pause and go and work it out and come back. 
Okay, so area of this A then, we need to take the length measurement by the width measurement. Now, common mistake here is to just pick up any numbers. We're not going to use this 7 because it's only part of the length of this rectangle I've made. So it's going to be 9 times 4, 36 centimetres squared for area of A. Then for B, again, I'm not going to take this measurement because this measurement, this part is not part of the shape. This is the shape I want, so I'm going to be doing 6 by 2, 12 centimetres squared. And then I need to add that up and I will have found the area of the compound shape. So 36 add 12, we've got 48 centimetres squared. Now for the perimeter, like I said, you don't want to find the perimeter of two shapes because then you'll end up with an extra measurement. You literally just add the sides and we can do it bit by bit. So we could do 10, add 2 is 12, add 6 is 18, add 7 is 25, add 4 is 29, add 9 is 38. So you should have got a perimeter of 30, oops, 38 centimetres. So well done if you got that one right. Let's continue to look at the triangles and the parallelograms now so it gets a bit more complicated. So I'm going to recap the triangles because it is a little bit more tricksy. So to find out the area of a triangle, you need to think of your triangle as being half of a rectangle. And you need to do what you do for a rectangle, length times width or, or height of the triangle, if you want to think of it that way, and then half it, because that would work out it as a rectangle. Your triangle is half, okay? You must use, this example is okay, because it's given you the measurements that you need, it's not tricking you in any way, but if you've got a measurement of these diagonal sides, you cannot use them, so it has to be the straight side, which sometimes will be shown up in here, Okay, and sometimes you will get these measurements as well, but you do not want to use them. So it needs to be the flat base and the straight height. Times them together and then half it. So try to apply that formula there. So it's half base times height is how we call it. You can think of it as length and width if you want, but for a triangle we tend to think of it as base times height. So try to work out the area of this particular one. Okay, super, you've got two ways of doing it then. You can either half your base and then times that by the height, or you can times them together and then half it. You'll get the same answer either time. Either time. So 10 times five is 50, half of that is 25, or half of 10 is five, five times five is 25. So the area of this triangle is 25 centimeters, ah, centimeters squared. Okay, let's look at a parallelogram. So remember, your parallelograms are sort of like a wonky rectangle. Okay, it's got diagonal lines. And if we took, if you had a piece of paper, you could prove this. But if we took this triangle here and we removed it, it would end up filling this space here. And then you would have a rectangle. So what that means is if you've got this um, length, so again, it's not a diagonal side. You can't use a diagonal side. It has to be a straight side. But where you've got the straight side measurement, it essentially becomes a rectangle. Because if I take my straight measurement and multiply it by my length measurement, then that triangle will fill in that hole and you've just got a rectangle. Okay, so your formula here is your length times your width just like for a rectangle but it has to be the straight length so pause and work it out okay so 15 times 6 is what you are doing here uh, let's just do that calculation quickly here to check that we are okay with it 15 times 6 5 times 6 is 30 my 0 there my 3 there 1 times 6 is 6 Add that three is 90. So if I write that out, area equals 90. And again, we've got no uh, measurements here, but it would be squared. 
Right, last thing that we looked at then, this was in yesterday's lesson, so it's our most recent recap, volume. Now, remember, area and perimeter were for 2D shapes, flat shapes, whereas volume is about 3D shapes, okay? So it's got a height measurement as well. We've got a length, a width, and then we've got a height because we can, we're talking about volume is the space inside this. Imagining this was a box, fill it up, and that's our volume. So go and have a go at working out the volume of the cuboid or hang about for me to give you the formula. Okay, so if you're not quite sure, your formula is length times width times height. Okay, so length times width times height. So go and work that one out. Okay, so this formula will work for, for our cubes and our cuboids, okay? So we take our length, our width, and our height measurements. So we're doing six times three, oops, times two. Okay, and again, multiplication can be done in any order. I said this in yesterday's lesson. So we could do whatever works best for us, depending on where our times table knowledge is strongest. So we could do six times three is 18 and 18 times two is 36. Or we could do two times three is six and six times six is 36. Or we could do six times two is 12 times three is 36. So either way, oops, what am I doing? Either way, we're gonna get 36. So our volume, equals 36 and we've got our units centimeters and for volume because we're going in that three dimensions we've got those three measures we're going cubed not squared cubed okay well done if you've got that answer so that's a whistle stop tour a recap of all the formulas and calculations that we've done for area perimeter and volume go and have a go at the activities if you've forgotten anything watch this video back go and find the bit that you need okay and as always if you need support join us on teams at 10 past 12 thanks for joining today's lesson